Hi, Hi friends. friends. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Ha -ha. Today we're gonna read The Boy with the Pink Hair. So we have pink hair. Your hair is more red. The Boy with the Pink Hair. He was born that way, the boy with the pink hair. His parents are startled when the doctor handed him over. Born with shockingly bright, beautiful pink hair. Not like his mom, whose color was red, or his dad, whose hair was chocolate. The boy with the pink hair had a cotton candy mop. A head of hair unlike anything anyone had ever seen before. Tests were done. The results came in. He was just born that way. A special boy. From the rest. But life wasn't easy for the boy with pink hair. Some people would stare. Others would laugh, and every every once in a while someone would say something like, Wow, pink, can I eat this hair? But the boy with the pink hair was happy. His family loved him. And there was also something else that he loved. The boy with the pink hair loved to cook. At first he started off just playing with food. And then inventing his own creations. Usually using his favorite color. For his birthday, his mom and dad built him a special tree house with a little kitchen of its own. They encouraged his hobby and didn't pester him to play games that he did not like. One day his parents sat him down and told him that he would be starting elementary school. Some people might want to make fun of you, but don't listen to them, said his mother. One day you'll find out that difference makes a difference. That night, the boy with the pink hair had a wonderful dream. He dreamed of a school where, uh, he dreamed of a school where everyone had a different colored hair. All together, it looked like a rainbow. Mm-hmm. All right. The next morning at school, his parents gave him a goodbye kiss, and the boy with the pink hair entered his new classroom. Everyone stopped. Nobody spoke. He slowly made his way to his seat. A boy with a bad attitude smiled and yelled out, Pink hair, pink hair, you look really weird. Weird! Oh my goodness, that's not very nice. Nice, that's, that's not, not very nice. nice. Okay. The boy with the pink hair suddenly felt very alone in his chair. But then a girl with a ponytail tapped him on her sh on his shoulder. Don't listen to him. She whispered, here, have this, it's my favorite. It was a piece of bubble gum, and it looked just like his hair. Pink is my favorite color, she told him. The next day after school, the boy with the pink hair and his new friend went to, a very, went to his very special tree house. He'd never invited another kid up there before, oh no. You have a kitchen up here? This is so cool said the girl with a ponytail. Do you like to play restaurant? The boy with the pink hair smiled. He started to rummage through his cabinets and his cooking tools, making a mess and whipping up super extra yummy dish for his new friend. Surprise, he said, as he presented a delicious pink marshmallow sandwich with potato chips. Oh, wow, she said. Oh, wow, said his new friend. Wow, 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 wow. The next day was a special day at school. All the parents were invited to meet the teachers and help the children get off to a fine new school year. When lunchtime came, the students and their parents went to the cafeteria for a big group lunch. But there was a problem. The stove was not working. Oh no, said the principal. What are we going to do? We were going to have spaghetti, but it won't quite work now. The girl with the ponytail spoke up. I know someone who can make really great food, quickly and easily. She pointed, every head in the room turned to the boy with the pink hair. Oh no, not the pink weirdo, said the boy with that big attitude. That's enough, said the principal to the boy with the bad attitude. She smiled at the boy with the pink hair and asked, Want to give it a try? The boy with the pink hair was a little nervous, but said, Okay, I'll try. I never made anything for this many people. I could use a little help. So the boy with the pink hair and his friend and the girl with the ponytail went to the kitchen, followed by a bunch of curious kids. The principal looked at the boy with the bad attitude and said, Don't you think you might want to help as well? The boy with a bad attitude side and followed too. Let's see. <clears throat> Before long, the boy with the pink hair had the whole place buzzing. There were all sorts of things to be done. Everyone was helping. They were, were blending. They were, blending. They they were, were mixing. mixing. They, they were, were rolling, rolling. Pouring, pouring and, stirring and, and stirring and spreading. And, spreading. and, and they, they were all having, having a great, great time. time. Even, Even the boy, boy with the bad, bad attitude. attitude. When they were done, the girl with the pink, the girl with the ponytail led the way as they carried out trays and trays of yummy pink food. Wow, look at all the pink food. There were pink, there were pink sandwiches, sandwiches, pink, pink pudding, pudding, and there and was, there even, was pink even pink lemonade. lemonade. After everyone had their fill, the boy with a pretty good attitude came up to the boy with the pink hair. Holding his hand was a very important looking man. Dad, said the boy, this is my friend, the one I was telling you about. The boy with the pink hair and the girl with the ponytail looked at each other in wonder. Hello, young man, said the important looking man. 
Your food is delicious and unique. I own a group of restaurants, and with your permission, I'd like to put your, I'd like to put your creation on my menu. Really? As the wide-eyed boy with the pink hair? Wow, said the girl with the ponytail. Wow, 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 wow. wow, wow. wow. Word spread as far and wide about the wonderful pink food, about the boy with the pink hair. Soon he had lots of friends. The boy with the pink hair also discovered that his mother was right. Difference did make a difference. Only his difference was not his pink hair. Not really. His difference was that he followed his own special dream and was happy to be just who he was. One boy with shockingly bright, beautiful pink hair made the world a little happier. A little more pink, and that's a great thing. All right, goodbye everyone. Remember to remember to stay safe and always read books.